The ceremony will be attended by 14 heads of state, ambassadors of various nations, intellectuals, political activists, film stars, celebrities are slated to attend. Leaders of the BIMSTEC nations will be in attendance. Why is the invitation to the BIMSTEC nations significant? BIMSTEC is the acronym for Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. The group comprises the five South Asian countries of India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh and the two Southeast Asian economies of Myanmar and Thailand. Remember, Pakistan is not included in that list and that sends out a clear message. India's effort to further isolate Pakistan diplomatically and look eastward instead. BIMSTEC has been uh, present as a regional grouping since 1997. India has been giving the group a steady impetus. This is part of a carefully crafted diplomatic strategy to engage all its neighbors except for Pakistan. India has wanted uh, to... Uh, limit its diplomatic engagement with Pakistan because of its continued support for cross-border terrorism and hence inviting the leaders of WIMSTEC nations aids India's prerogative of keeping healthy neighborly relations with BRICS and SARC nations but isolating Pakistan at the same time. We've come to celebrate India's vibrant and resilient democracy. Thailand is still a young democracy. We've had elections on 24th March but Today, we're still uh, in the midst of forming a new government. Uh, so we admire India's democracy, such a big country. I, I regret that uh, my, our Prime Minister is not able to be here himself. Apart from foreign dignitaries and corporate big wigs, eminent sports personalities and Bollywood celebrities have also been invited to the Rashtrapati Bhavan. On the guest list are some of the well-known faces from the world of sport, Former cricketers Rahul Dravid and Javagal Srinath have been invited to the oath-taking ceremony. Harbhajan Singh has also been extended an invitation. Badminton A. Saina Nehwal, coach Polela Gopichand and gymnast Deepa Karmakar are some of the other sports persons who have been invited. Bollywood stars like Akshay Kumar, Anupam Kher, lyricist Javed Akhtar and Salim Khan might also be present in the forecourt to witness that grand ceremony. Vivek Oberoi, who recently played Narendra Modi in a biopic, has also been invited. Others, like Kangana Ranaut, will be present for the ceremony as well. NRIs have been one of the biggest support bases of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and many of them are uh, here to attend the ceremony. Our correspondent, Sadhan Sibyl, caught up with some of them. Take a look. The Prime Minister-elect will be taking oath very soon at the four courts of Rashpati Bhavan and among the invitees are a number of NRIs who have uh, come from across the world, people from Singapore, Africa. With me are a few people. Sir, welcome to Vion, first of all. And my first question to you is, where are you from and can you show us your car as well? Uh, my, uh, my name is Bupendra Kumar and I'm, I'm, I'm from Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my card. I just received it. Uh -huh. So, so you excited about the overtaking ceremony? Yeah, definitely. Yes, it is a golden opportunity to see uh, our beloved Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi taking oath once again. Mm -hmm. It is an era of Narendra Modi 2.0. You know, we are inventing a new world, new global Indians. So Indians are across the world and they are doing wonders in terms of professionalism, in terms of business and in terms of trade and bilateral. So many things we are contributing. But never before we have been given an opportunity to be connected with the government or connected with any political party directly. And this all we are doing voluntarily. It is not that uh, we are doing for any motivation. We are doing just for our motherland that is India. Uh, when we culturally uh, see Dubai or UAE is just like another state of India. Uh, there, uh, Dubai, uh, UAE is the place where you can find people from each and every state of India. Even the culture is the same like in India. And the local government, they give a very good importance. They give very much importance to the people of India and government of India. Uh, UAE being like a, uh, it's a global economic hub as well. Uh, people from all over the world, they are using uh, UAE as in a transit point to invest in India and other uh, countries. 18 hour travel from from uh, New Zealand to India mm -hmm. and I am very excited to be a part of this uh, oath ceremony mm -hmm. and uh, I wish that uh, next five years will be the big achievement and a big uh, victory for Modi government and he will be the uh, he will give his best mm -hmm. to the country and mm -hmm. to the world of all the Indians in all over the world. Mm -hmm. Dubai it has 
it seems it has come closer to India under the Modi government's first tenure. How do you see uh, the the relationship which uh, which Narendra Modi in his visits? Um, UAE comes closer to India. Yeah, for sure. Because, you know, uh, when Narendra Modi ji uh, visited in 2015, I think it was, uh, it was a very, very excited moment for uh, Indians in uh, Indian diaspora in uh, Dubai. And uh, it, was, it was a really a good beginning between a bilateral relation between uh, in, in terms of finance, in terms of business and in terms of, you know, exchanges. So it was, um, it was a turning point, uh, I would say. And that's why, you know, after that, uh, Susma ji has also taken many steps to to make closer and closer in terms of business so we feel really proud in terms of you know our relation and now also UAE government have uh, given land and we are uh, we are very proud that uh, Hindu temple is being built in uh, in uh, UAE so where are you from and can you show us your card sure I am from Singapore staying in Singapore from, from, from past seven years and this is what the, uh, the card which I am having I am uh -huh. attending a oath ceremony today uh, at Rashtrapati Bhavan mm -hmm. um, I know that the Prime Minister has been to Singapore last year only he went to uh, Singapore for the Shangri-La dialogue uh, what's the connect between India and you being an NRI um, in Singapore well if you look at from past five years the the Indians which are staying uh, in Singapore, they feel really proud uh, the way the stable government which we have actually having under the leadership of uh, Prime Minister Modi ji, and then the way he connect with the people, and then the the strategy which he is having for the NRIs even uh, it is something now every NRI in Singapore is really feeling that yes they are from India and they are actually contributing to the world economy and to to strengthen the overall relationship with the entire world. Mm.